Could it be weak hip extensors? Weak hip flexors, weak quads. Could it be weak hip extensors? No. Could it be tight hip extensors? Yes. yes. Right. Good, you got it. So now he comes up to here. I say, okay, relax. Right? So he can only get this far on his own. Now I can take him up to here, and that's as far as I as far as he can go. What do I know now? I mean tight. Because he can go here by himself. Here with me. Let's just talk about that a little bit right there first. What do I know? So does he have any weakness in his hip flexors or his quads? I think it's weak. Yes. Everybody get that? Yes. Here is what he has actively. Here's what he has active assistance. So there is some weakness there that he can't get it up there on his own, right? There's something, there's some weakness. Now we get up this far, and that's as far as he can go, passively. Now what do we know? Tight hamstring. Tight hamstring, right? Could it be anything else? Could his hip flexors be tight? No. Well, they could be. We don't know they're not. <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> right? This doesn't mean he doesn't have tight hip flexors. It means that we're not, we can't tell him this. What I said over here, not enough information to be able to make that determination. So here is as far as he can go. So what angle is that? Somebody want to measure? What just eyeball? 45. Okay, so now I'm going, now he's got a really big leg. Oh my gosh, his leg weighs 100 pounds and I'm trying to stretch him. So I really don't want to do it that way. So I can climb up on the table and do it, but I want to measure now what he has. So if I bring him to here, how much um, elevation do you think, or how straight do you think I'll be able to get his knee? Not very. Well, give me a number. You know it, it was 100% accuracy. 45. 45. It has to be 45. If this is 45 hamstring tightness, this popliteal angle has to be 45 <coughs> degrees. We are measuring hamstring tightness either way. So if you have somebody with a big leg, you can have somebody come over here. Could you come over here? Hold, it. hold right there, hold that, hold that leg for me. Good. I'm going to measure up here, and then you're going to get somebody else to help, help measure. This is a lot easier than trying to get this down here, elevate his leg, and say, okay, I'm going to get in here. Can you measure there? It's a lot easier to get a nice little popliteal degree than it is to try to line up the torso with the leg with the knee completely straight. Because if they're tight, their knee's going to run up there, and where do you stop? It's a lot easier because the number is the same and measures hands and Okay, so now um, we know, who, we, we have him up to here. We know his hamstring is tight. So let's see, I'm gonna now work on this. I'm gonna bring him down to here. Gosh, and that's as far, that's as far as he can bend his knee. What do we know now? Quad tightness. Tightness. Tight. 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 Probably not the rest because the rest is on flat at the hip, so we're just going to say tight quads. Okay, so what we've evaluated so far is our guy has tight quads, tight hamstrings. We know those two for sure, right? So we want to see if his hip, if his hip flexors are tight. Somebody want to come over and let me know if he has tight hip flexors also? While you're assessing his hip flexors, I'd like you to go ahead and do a stretch. Go ahead, do come Thomas on. Thomas test. Do the Thomas do the test. test. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, this guy, he's, you've got it figured out. <laughs> he's across the room. And I'm, he's like, no, no, no. Let me just. Are you looking for the top Yep. Okay, so I thought hold that. Like, which one was tight? You were working that one. Yeah. yeah. Down. 
And um, and if if he was able to flex, then it would rule so, out. So the test, you, the test usually would current literature is ninety degrees with athletes. You really want like hundred and ten, but ninety would be considered within normal limits. So see if he can flex his knee to ninety, and his hip would be at neutral. So it would be not you know you're good, but this would be a test for normal. Um, hip flexors and, and flexors. Let's say that he's not there. Let's say that um, when you bend his knee, his hip, his knee, flex, his hip flexes to about, I don't know, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. So what do we know now? Rectus. So let's stretch him while we're here. Might as well. Which, which one was it, iliopsoas or rectus? Both. What is it? Which one was it, iliopsoas or rectus? Well, his knee, we, it was his hip flexors only. His okay. Knee was good. Okay. So what are we going to do with, how are we going to stretch his hip flexors? Extend the knee out like this. Yeah, he probably needs to come down a little more. Okay. Does it matter the position of his knee? Yeah. Uh, why? Because it doesn't attach at the knee. Right. So you got that? It's okay, right? You, you know contract relax, we've gone through that today. Okay, so we're gonna teach him how he can do this at home. Stretching. Stretching. Well that would not be wrong. Like I said earlier, what's a better one? Lunge. Lunge or prone. Prone or standing or Flying. Lying. Side hanging line. Off. What? Lying, hang, hanging off. Uh, half kneeling. We see all of the different ways. So when I get in there and say, "Give me two ways," we just name six, right? They're all correct. They're all correct. So if I say, "Well, why would you do it that way?" or "Give me another," or they can't get in that position. Don't let my little snippy attitude throw you off. I'm just looking for something else. It doesn't mean you're wrong. All right. Those are all correct, all correct. And like the question of, do we know if he has high hip flexors? Hip flexors? We don't know that when we're looking, when we're doing a hamstring stretch. So don't say, that's a question on the test. You can't mark that he has tight hip, uh, that he does not have tight hip flexors. You just don't know that. So you know, be aware of that. You'd be able to argue that question. Um, anything else? We just talked about the popliteal angle, how to measure for hamstrings, how to assess, how to stretch, contract, relax, Hold, relax, home exercise program. We'll do documentation uh, later. Bless you. Um, you guys did, you, we've gone through closed and open chain.